Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomix. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a R package called GeoQuery to download the metadata from Geo. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to use this data set. Uh, it's a nano string data set for the triple negative breast cancer. Uh, it, uh, those samples undergo um, a panel of uh, 770 genes uh, using this nanostring uh, PanCans IO36C uh, panel. And if you scroll down here, you see uh, there are 115 samples here. And if you just click one of them, and you see some of the characteristics of that sample, for example, the age, uh, whatever the level here, the KI67 score, the TIL score, and the metastasis uh, status. So I want all those informations uh, for each sample. However, we have 115 samples here. We don't want to click one of, uh, each one of them and uh, get them manually. Or you can just write from scratch a parser to uh, scroll the web and pass those information. Uh, but actually, GeoQuery is a well-made package just for that purpose. You can use that to fetch all the metadata. So let's go back to R. And here, so let's first load the library, library GeoQuery and the tidyverse. So for, if you uh, didn't have a GeoQuery and you have to install it by BIOSIC manager and install. Okay, I already have it, so I just load it. And it was tidyverse. Okay, to do that, so you use the get geo function from a geo query, and they specify the uh, accession number here. I don't want the uh, the the raw data, so I specified the matrix as a false, so only the metadata here. And you see, it kind of reading all this um, metadata for all the samples here. So, so if you look at meta, it has different slots here, like header here, for example. And then it tells you all this other uh, information for each of the sample. And what we want actually is the the slot, the GSMS, this is the uh, sample ID here. So if you do this, and you install the sign, and you see those are all the 115 samples here. So, so if you select one of them, and uh, the, this is also a, uh, a lot of information here. So you need to know uh, what you, you need. So press, uh, press an up arrow here. And it has also different uh, um, slots here. So one of them is data table, the other one is the header. And the one we really want is the header here. So if you look at header, so essentially it show you all this metadata information and the, the one we really want is the characteristics so let's see here like here so you remember and then this age levels k 60 schools 67 schools those are the ones we just saw actually on the geo uh, web uh, website okay so again if just for one of the samples you can get the characteristics and you do this and you get, you get this right and now uh, we have 115 samples here so to do this we use a map function from the per package and we'll loop over all the samples so if you use this then this is just uh, all, it, it's a it's a list for all the samples right so this is just one of the samples in the in that list now you just take out a tilde sign dot x. This refers to one of the GSM ID here. And you take the header and then you take the characteristics. So if you do this, it will actually take out all the characteristics for each sample as a list, right? And what you can do here, there's a trick here so you can use the stack function here. Now you get uh, like this. So all the information will be stacked into a two uh, column data frame. So now we can actually separate um, those age, 
levels and do a little bit wrangling of the data. For example, I can separate this. The first is the column, the value columns into, for example, feature and the value, and then separate by the uh, column here. And then I can do uh, pivot wider, so make the wide, so because now it's in the long format. So if you look at this function here, and it will give you this table. Okay, and this the ID of the sample, what's the age, what's the level of, and and, and what's the KI67 score and all other uh, uh, information that you you need. Okay, then you can just write this into a CSV file. Okay, it's pretty neat. Okay. And if you uh, like to use Python or command line tool, uh, there are other tools that you can fetch geo or other database metadata and data. So uh, I just showed you how to use geo query. But there are other, uh, this one's more recent called geo fetch, FFQ. Uh, there's a Python tool, Py, uh, SRA DB, and geo parse. So they all can do a similar jobs so i uh, if you uh, want to use command line or python and make, make sure you check them out so i hope you learned something today and uh, thank you for watching it and see you next time